Hello and welcome to Gardening with Soul in the land of El Sol. On my website this uh, September week, as we near the autumn equinox, I posted about growing wildflowers. And I talked a little bit about wildflower seeds and um, the species of wildflowers you could grow are up under the website resources, but we're on YouTube. So the reason I'm making this YouTube is to talk a little bit about the seeds, because the best way to have uh, wildflowers is to actually grow them from seed. That's what they're used to doing. They grow from seeds out in the wild. So um, there are, well, here's two different brands of the same California poppies. Now, if you live in California or the Mojave Desert, which includes Las Vegas, these are wonderful for you. Um, but if you live in the Arizona desert, you really want to go for the Mexican gold poppies. And to tell the truth, I don't have any of the Mexicans uh, gold poppies. I have all sorts of Californian ones. You know why? Because that's what's popular. California poppies. They're the deep orange and, um, well, they grow well in the Mojave Desert. They grow well in the winter rains off the Pacific Ocean. And um, I should be holding them this way rather than me looking at them. I want you to look at them. Okay, so these winter wildflowers or spring wildflowers, if you want to, grow well off the um, rains that come off the Pacific Ocean in our area. Now we have a whole cadre of summer wildflowers that I'll also talk about. But yeah, the, the neat thing, it doesn't matter if you go with one brand or the other. I'm just showing you these are both reputable brands. They come in orange. You can find mixed colors. You can find a buttercream. You can find um, even linen, white ones. So um, think about people, places, plants. Which plants do you people want in your yard? Um, if you like poppies, but you really like white, then go with, order these. Treat yourself, okay? Now there's also a poppy from Europe and Asia. And you know what? That's okay, you can plant that too. The Asian, or the European Asian ones, they grow around the Mediterranean Ocean. And they grow with the winter rains that the Mediterranean gets. So yes, if you want to plant some of these red poppies, that's okay too. It's your yard. You get to enjoy them. Okay. Uh, I guarantee you though, um, you know, these aren't a problem. These European ones escaping out into our desert were a little bit too dry. If you grow these, you're going to have to plan on watering them. Whereas if you grow these, our winter rains alone might be enough. So your choice. Now, so those are the poppies and I go, I love, I love them. So you can tell I got a lot of seed. Um, I mentioned Gallardia now called blanket flower, a couple of uh, packets of those that I'm going to plant out. Um, I mentioned Coreopsis. Now, um, I get sent all sorts of samples for trials and I'm going to try this, see how it grows. Let them know. Um, very good to me, these the folks that sent this to me, and I, I like to get back to them and say, you know, our soil is too alkaline. You guys, Flora Select, you're in France. Okay, now um, you might see something like this, the Western Butterfly Collection, and you, you'd be awful tempted. And um, this again was something I was given to uh, test, and they, in this four seed packets is a flower mix to bring home the butterflies that I'm trying to read. And in it is the lupin that I talk about on the, on the website this week. Um, basically the lupins are one of the ones that grow um, in the winter months and there's some verbena in here. There's some dill, which isn't really a wild plant in our area but it does bring in butterflies. So, you know, if, if you want, if you want it, try it. Um, we'll find out which ones grow. Now, the best 
thing to grow in your yard is what grew in your yard. And that's what this stack is. Okay. This is me saving seed. Okay. These are packages of seed that I saved from um, plants that grew in my yard. And they're used to the way I take care of them. They're used to my soils. Um, even though they originally came from maybe a package like this, these will grow even better. So, um, seed saving is a whole other topic, but as you can see, I'm going to have lots of lovely wildflowers. Now, um, I talk about, well, I showed you some national seed companies, but I also want to say there are a number of little local western seed companies or southwestern seed companies and these are seeds that i got and guess what i don't know what they are nobody told me i should have remembered i should have written that on the package when i got it but i want to show you this yeah i'm gonna bet you that they're poppies because those look a lot like poppy seeds but you know, um, it's always good to label what you've got. Now I'm looking over here. I'm going to pause this and get back to you. I'm going to show you a seed package that is labeled. It is from the seed library. And um, in Pima County, at least, you just check seeds out of the library using your library card. How great is that? Now there's a number of seed libraries, they're really catching on. And like I said, the best thing to grow here is whatever grew here. Now this is for vegetables, peas, but um, I do happen to know that our seed library here in Pima County does have some poppy seed and some Perry's Penstemon seed because I had about a pound of Perry's Penstemon seed and um, I shared them. Oh, okay. There's more of them all over the floor and down my shirt. Um, and this is what Perry's Pinstemon seed looks like. They're even smaller than poppy seeds. They're really tiny. But um, this is about a pound and I gave an equal amount to the library. And they put them in these small packets and you check them out. Now the idea is you don't return these seeds, you return some that you grew in your yard. And eventually we might have Perry Penstemon variety Tucsonensis or something. The ones that grow best in Pima County. I guess it would be variety Pimaensis. I don't know, I'm making that up. Don't quote me, okay? So um, seed saving, a whole other topic, but really, as solstice approaches, it is time to grow your western wildflower seeds here in the land of El Sol. Thanks for watching.